So I think we agree on some things. I think we disagree on some other things. But I appreciate you, listen, being, like you said, a citizen of the United States and contributing. How do I report, uh, report this? Um. Okay, so another installment of Change My Mind, where we air unedited conversations on controversial topics and hear from you in the comments section. Today's topic is build the wall. Change my mind. Uh, more so encompassing not just the wall, but immigration reform in general. Now, before we get to the interviews, a couple of things. Uh, first, we didn't get many sit-down interviews on this one. Uh, we got a lot of drive-by yellings. We have Pitbull Husky. Wall would would help it. And for the first time in Change My Mind history, we ran into a situation that really shocked me, was genuinely disconcerting to the point where uh, we didn't know exactly what to do. But to start with, this lady sat down to express why she was against the wall. Trump, or the American people, is for building the wall. Yeah. I'm not against the illegal immigration. I'm, I'm for that. If they want to come in here... You're for illegal fine. immigration? Yeah. You don't believe that you should have to come here legally? They, they, they need to come in here legally. But right but now they want, aren't. But I don't want them to build a wall. Okay, so let me, let, let me ask, I'm, I'm a little bit confused. I want to make sure that I understand this correctly. Maybe I'm confused. <laughs> no, no, I could be confused. So you said you support it, so uh, enforcing stricter border policy, for example, yeah. making sure that we know who's here legally, yes. clamping down on work visas, but deporting people who aren't here legally, uh, don't, not allowing people to enter illegally, but you're against the physical wall. Yes, that yeah. wall is the one that, that makes me mad, makes me angry, makes me want to cry, because... It's not... I don't understand, though, how that... If, if you're here in this country legally, you can still visit your family in Mexico yeah, and come back. Yeah. No. There's no guarantee for any of us Americans to go down there and visit our... You might even have family member down there. You don't know. I'm, I was raised in Canada. I have family all the time in Canada. Yeah, I've been to Mexico. If you're, in, if you're a legal citizen, yeah, but you, you can always... The wall, there's already starting wars down there. Uh, um, um, I'm talking too much now. No. They're already, oh, okay. like... Um, how do you say it? Um... They're against the wall, and if they build it, they're still going to get in one way or another. You know what I'm saying? Right, but you already said that you're against and, that. Yeah. You already said you're, you, you, you want some kind of reform to stop people from coming yeah. illegally. Yeah. So and if the wall ain't going to stop them, so why build it? Now she's a Mexican-American immigrant. For context, do you remember how Vox told you that sanctuary cities were necessary because otherwise immigrants wouldn't report crimes in their area out of fear? Word gets out around the immigrant community. Any time you interact with local police, it could mean deportation. Eventually, immigrants will be afraid to call the police, even when they're the victims of crime or the witnesses to it. But turns out it's not the cops these people are most afraid of. I know a couple of, I'm talking too much now. No, 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 that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> Don't say any names, it's okay. I know a lot of people that are like, um, are criminals. Who aren't, who haven't been deported. And they haven't been deported. You, you would support been them being deported, right? This is apartment complex, and there's a lot of them down there who are doing like long short money, lending, yeah. lending. So I think we would so agree that we should be able to deport them. To be deported. Right. So you would be against like sanctuary city laws that prevent, okay. Yes. So I think we agree on some things. I think we disagree on some other things, but I appreciate you, listen, being, like you said, a citizen of the United States and contribute. How do I report, uh, report those people? Um, how do you report them? Because uh, I didn't want to do it. Yeah, you report them to ICE. We spoke with her more off air. It, it, it breaks your heart, it really does. Keep in mind, this lady was a legal immigrant subdued into fear by illegal immigrants in her neighborhood. Uh, it's like we talk about all the time. The fake victim culture creates real victims, usually the ones following the rules. Okay, time for some unedited interviews here. Uh, apparently this guy hosts a show because he was really eager to step in. Coming in hot. What's well, your name? Leroy. Leroy, nice, nice to meet you, Leroy. you, sir. Steven. Nice to meet you. So I guess it's called uh, Build the Wall, Change Your Mind, why we shouldn't yeah. build it. No, no, why, no, I support building the wall. Oh, you, oh, yeah, but, but I'm telling you why I shouldn't build it. Okay, yeah. yeah. So let me just sort of assert my position first. So maybe because okay. we might find some areas where we disagree versus areas where we disagree. Okay. Um, I believe in securing the border, not just the wall, but securing the border, ensuring that we know who's entering the country legally and illegally. Mm. And uh, I, I, if, if there's anything where you think I'm wrong, you can more than welcome to change my mind. Yeah, uh, for, from when it comes to like older standards, yeah, like I can see where you're saying build the wall, put today's standards. You know, migration, we could tax those people coming into the country and any money they make or any money they spend will go into back into the economy. So when it comes down to taxes and people coming into the you know, there's a small, 
Of, yeah, sure. There's like, you know, when it comes down to it, Mexicans, Latins, or whatever you want to say, illegal immigrants in general coming to the country, bringing drugs. And I personally, like, I'm not Mexican. I'm Spanish. I'm from, uh, my family's been in New Mexico since the 1550s around there. Okay. And uh, I know a lot of Mexicans in general. And a lot of them are hardworking people. And, and a lot of them, um, Sure. A lot of them put into the system, so I don't, yeah, like when it comes to crime, there's like maybe one, like a small percentage that brings, you know, brings drugs. Yeah, and, well, I didn't bring that up. I didn't okay, say that. I, I'm not I'm, saying that the majority of Mexicans yeah, yeah. are no, bringing no, in drugs or No, I know, crimes. but I'm just going over the oh, over what Trump okay. and everybody else has said about He didn't say world. that either. Or about every, every, other people in general. Yeah. And actually, he did say that. No, he did say that. He said, if you go back, Trump said, Mexicans are bringing all the illegal drugs into the country, this and that. Like, no, no, hold on a second. There are two, two different things here, because I want to make sure it's... See, I'm, I'm, I'm like a little off date. I'm a little off, because I've been, I've been ca caught up with the news for like the past... Sure, sure, sure. No, I, know, I know what you're referring to. And uh, it, it was worded very poorly, but what you just said was that, you know, a, a majority that most Mexicans are bringing in drugs to committing crimes. No, that's not, that's certainly not Donald Trump's position. And I can't speak for everyone else, exactly. right, who believes in securing yes, the borders. Now, that being said, not a majority of Mexicans at all, not a majority of even illegal immigrants at all, but they do commit crimes at a disproportionate level but, uh, in what, comparison to legal citizens. Yeah, what percentage, though, out of those, out of what percentage do you think, say, yeah. so uh, like, what percentage like, is that, uh, do you think that commit crimes? I want to see your, yeah. I want to get your input. Uh, sure. what well, it's not my input, so the, the, the statistics would reflect that about, about the 3.5% of the population in the United States are undocumented immigrants, but they commit 37% of the homicides of the murders. They commit up to 13% of the uh, of the, uh, the the violent crimes. 13, yeah, yeah, 13%. So, so 3.5% of the population, okay. illegal immigrants, commit 37% of the murders in this country. And something, depending on which stat you use, 60 yeah, yeah. to 70% of drug trafficking related charges occur uh, with people who are illegal immigrants. So not a majority of Mexicans, exactly. but a, they immigrants. purport, yes, yeah, sir, yes, or, or immigrants, yes, sir. Yes, sir. not even a majority of illegal immigrants, but they do commit crimes at disproportionate levels. So that's, that's yeah. an issue. Yeah, uh, anybody today nowadays creates crimes, you know, like, statistically, it's not statistically, the same, no. statistically, they're the ones bringing the drugs, but then statistically, who are the ones selling the drugs? Yeah, who are the ones selling the drugs? Are there American sure. citizens adding to the, you know, adding to the problem? So we can't just sit here and point a finger. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm I don't want to. I don't want to get off on the topic because you, know you brought it to the drug thing. So okay, yeah, here's sorry, my question for you. Topic. You're you're off the. You, you don't support building a wall. So um, I want to get your. I want to understand where you're coming from. Do you support any type of uh, uh, border enforcement? Any type of what should we do about the illegal immigration problem? What should be done? What would you do? Just tax them. Get them. Get them. Uh, get them. Uh, get them legal citizens and just tax them. Okay. Put a yeah social. Uh, Social Security ID number on them, some way, somehow, make them pass the test, and just tax them, make make money off of them. Why throw them out of the country when we could make money off of them? I'm not saying make money off them in a slave way or bad no, way. No, 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 I know. And I know that's what I'm saying that for myself. For yeah, me, I, I understand. No. Yeah. So, but you know, just tax them in general. Make get them legal citizens. If there's how, uh, just make them pass the the courses or whatever. I don't know what the I don't know what the criteria is today for to make someone a citizen, but. Get them to be citizens, make them citizens, and make them put into the system. No, okay. Yeah, because uh, the migration and immigration is not going to stop. It's only going to get worse. You know, times sure. just like technology, everything speeds up. So that's only going to increase along with everything else. So, so, so you believe in, in in making them legal, giving them a path to citizenship. Exactly. But you don't support a wall or enforcing no, a border. No, or any type of borders. I think borders in general are going to become a thing of the past. Is mm -hmm. what I've been talking to a lot of people, and it kind of. Yeah, I really see it coming, like I said, with technology and everything. People are going to just be able to travel super fast, cheap, you know, super cheap and go wherever they want. And, you know, it might not be now, but it will be in the next five, you know, five to ten well, years. Let me ask you this. Would, would we both agree, because you said give them the path to citizenship. Yes. But a lot of people who come into this country don't want to pay taxes and operate in the underground economy. Well, then they have to get... But the, will we both agree that no matter what you do, even if you grant them, they are going to have a certain amount of people mm -hmm. who are not going to pay taxes yes, who will stay under the radar. Do we agree on that? Yes. Okay. So do you understand that what you just described by not securing the borders, you just talk about how we have this, we're never gonna solve it because we can't deport mm. everybody, right? Exactly. And you've just agreed agree that a lot you. of them are not going to pay taxes and still stay undocumented, that if you don't oh, no, secure not, the borders- No, I didn't agree that. No, not a lot of them. There might be a couple, but I know a lot of them a are- percentage. A, per, yeah, a, a percentage. Yeah, a small percentage, yes. Okay. So if you have no borders, if you have no uh, securing our borders, if you have no way to monitor who's coming in and out, mm. 
you can see that what you've just proposed would create a, a, a veritable hell, a real problem. Of, some kind of electronic ID tag of some sort, you know, they have to have a passport of some sort of documentation. It's just not like, okay, I'm going to walk, you know, they have to. How do you check that without a border wall? I don't know. Like, you know, I'm a, they said this hasn't, probably hasn't, I'm, this is a free thought right now. So for me to execute this, I would have to get like a few uh, mastermind individuals to really sit down and think this over. I yeah. cannot tell you bla uh, bla a blatant answer right now. Yeah, I would have to so sit the, down and... A, dig, a, a digital passcode kind of, like you're talking exactly, about. Exactly, some kind of digital passcode, sure. yeah. So you they would have to go through a, a exactly, checkpoint. Exactly, exactly. How do you yeah. get them to go through a checkpoint if there's no wall in the uh, border? Not, it doesn't have to be a wall. It could be even like some kind of x-ray x-ray scanner that you know as you walk through it you, you know your your number goes into a database and it registers when you when you got there and when you left and maybe there might be some other destinations that tag the you know tag the id like you know in the middle of the city to kind of get a clue of where these you know people that are Excuse me, where these people are in the in the area? Yes, sir. So an X-ray border. Yeah, an X-ray. Yeah, an X kind of like well, I don't know what like the proper scientific ray that's used, but like an X-ray, an X-ray gate that just reads your ID and says when you're there. And the, yeah, and maybe like maybe before you cross the border, like give it like a I don't know written explanation of why you're of why you're going to that place, you know. Mm -hmm. And but let it be more free flowing, you know, like yeah, it's more free flowing. So that's predicated on the idea that people who are coming here illegally right now will obey. The, you, you believe that they'll have a written note as to why they're coming to the country like and said, the x-ray border will some, catch Yeah, some, that's like that's just a general idea, like, you know, yeah. written, whatever. That Like, I would have to talk to a, a group of individu individuals and think this over, okay. computer engineers. And I don't know, I one day plan on being the governor of New Mexico. So I've been thinking a lot about, I've been thinking about a lot of this for okay. the past three years. Yeah, because... Yeah. New Mexico has a lot of, we're a sanctuary city and we get a lot of these people and we get a lot of... Santa Fe? Yeah, mean, Santa yeah. Fe, New Mexico. And we get a lot of uh, immigrants and a lot of people don't like them, but it, at the same time, they may not like them, but I really don't see it. I really don't see it slowing down anytime soon as much as, just like off topic, but like when it comes to the drug, the drug war, we've been wasting thousands, millions, trillions of dollars yeah. since the 70s. And have we seen any, have we seen any positive? No. So like no. we're just going against the grain on this one. Right. And I, Particularly without any kind of a border, right? It makes the drug war really hard. Uh, either way, you know, the drugs being brought in by immigrants is a small percentage compared to pharmaceuticals that have already been on the news and been dumping billions and billions of opiates yeah. into and every other drug. You know, it's I consider immigrants a small percentage of the real the real boss hogs, the real drug dealers that are out there doing it illegally, just because it's okay. FD, yeah. Right, I, I appreciate I'll, I'll I know you, yeah. No, no, that's okay. I know you said, well, do me a favor here, because this is obviously about changing my mind. I don't I don't agree with you, okay. but I respect you sitting yes, down. Yes, thank you, sir. So when you do sit down, and I know you kind of had this idea, you said it's going to take a while for you to formulate mm -hmm. it, uh, formulate the, the idea. Yes, sir. When you do, with the, I know you mentioned the x-ray sort of border and tagging, uh, you know, then uh, then let us know. Email us through the website, and maybe we can have you on and talk about it. Because okay. I, I don't want you to be on the spot if you're like, well, I need some time. Yes, so. sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Oh, my Appreciate name is Leroy it. Trujillo, and I'm here with Go Green Global. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Leroy. Appreciate it. Hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, watch one of my other videos. Oh, it's playing in one of those boxes. Uh, I'd say subscribe or hit the notification bell, but I don't really know what that means in today's day and age on YouTube. But if you join at louderwithcrowder.com slash mug club, you won't only see clips, you'll get to watch the full daily one hour show every single day and support our content, making sure that we can still get clips up here on YouTube for the freeloaders who can't afford it and or are just cheap pricks.